Good afternoon Avengers, welcome to Match Day 19 here at Avenger Park, proudly presented by our major partners UCS Clover, Indeco and Goldfields and it's going to be an absolute sensational match. It's first versus third, there's a five points difference between the two. Also Avenger Sky scored five more goals than Bentley. So two very high scoring teams. Now the last time these two teams played, Avenel got the points with a 2 0 win, but Bentley did go down with a man, uh, went a man down, sorry, quite early on. So no doubt they're looking to uh, to get some revenge, if you like, after that performance, because they probably felt like they were a little bit hard done by. Oakley yesterday, 6-1 win over Dandy City. That means they're only two points behind us, so we need the win to get away from them and maintain that five point lead, while a win here today makes us eight points ahead of Bentley. A lot to play for here at Avenger Park and hopefully the rain and the wind holds off so we can have a beautiful match of football. What's going to happen here? We're going to have to watch, wait and see. Hello and welcome to Avenger Park and what a contest you've decided to tune in for. It is first versus third. Two of the most attractive attacking sides in the division battling it out in what is shaping up as a thrilling title race. It's Avondale FC taking on the Bentley Greens. As the match kicks off here, I'll go through the Bentley Greens team as well. Equally ambitious as a manager in how he wants his sides to play and they're playing some nice football early on here. Canelia, Exidias, wearing in the box and it's just flicked wide. It's given Bentley a bit of steel and now they launch forwards through Crowley. Headed down to Hoare, who might curl one from here. It's deflected, and Rory Bryan with a flying save. Right by Towns, bowling with the big, bold leap. Zinni, and he comes to ground. So it will be a free kick and a yellow card on. Trachevsky, Barcia, he's good. Hits Jakupi on the run, he swoops. From the line, far post, Boland sends it looping. Couldn't get the... Uh, Angle on that one as he more than shaded it so far, but Avondale showing signs of life. It's into the no man's land, Carpenter! It's Crowley in the open net! And it is 1-0, a defensive calamity for Avondale. Carpenter and Rory Bryan couldn't get it sorted out. And Braden Crowley with the simplest of goals. What were they doing? On his right. Barcia from a distance, that is a beauty, and it went whistling over the woodwork, so finally. Boland, that's a late challenge from Liam Boland, and he may well go into the book here. The uh, burner has now been turned up to simmer. Bentley bench. Boland, good ball for Valentini, who loves to run at players, and he's got space to run into now. And options in the area, it's Zinni at the back stick, but... That ball is well over hit. Carpenter halts his run. Oh, the goalkeeper came. So did uh, Reed, but he was waving his arm in the air. I reckon he. Uh... Oh, Trocheski, brilliant through the gap. Barcia goes outside Jakubi, third gear, but then could have drawn it back. And Boland's letting him know all about it because in the end. He tried to uh, finesse at home near post and a go. Irida Kunda is brilliant then. Get the pressure on. Jakupi. Soon as they get the football, Trochevsky tries to spin out of trouble. Now he's going to book poor Mitch Horford. Cality, the positioning, the intelligence, it's all been spot on for Nick Tolios. Trochevsky tried to find a gap where there wasn't one. The loose ball cannons for Towns outside for Zinni. The angle, oh, big leap by Valentini. Boland, and he hooks it across the face. Well, they've come out punching. They've come out swinging at the Avengers. But Jack Webster judged it better. It was Trajeski's cross that has found its way to the back stick. Zinni for Valentini, trying to get a shot away. It's deflected and favourably so for Harvey Lopez. Just ended up straight in his lap. But Dylan Jacupi. And it's Zinni, who has the beating of Sewell. Stefan Zinni threw on the goalkeeper, open net! Valentini equalises for Avondale! <laughs> They've started like a house on fire in this second half! 
Oh. And they get the goal that their positive play deserved. It's 1-1, all square. Alexander, Bowens. Space to work for Valentini, the goal scorer. Has Webster in his way. Valentini, what a strike! Oh, what a beauty! Stefan Valentini has turned it on. It's taken him six minutes to turn this game on its head. 2-1! Uh, uh, aren't they up and about, Josh? Aren't they up and about? The Avengers, in the space of six minutes, have swept the Bentley Greens away with two goals from Stefan Valentini. He loved that, and I reckon that'll give him 10 for the year. Final against this mob, Bentley Greens. Grudges to settle. It's a beauty. Boland. Trochevsky tried to run it through the trouble zone. Boland again, hooks it round the corner for the runner. Valentini's got two, squares it up, and uh, that was not far away. Carpenter's turn to lay a tackle. And Boland doing his defensive work. He wins it back, and he's going for the halfway special. <laughs> We've seen him do it before, but his radar was off this time, Liam Boland. <laughs> Probably Zinni, but... Carpenter with the turnover. Now Valentini strides away. Stefan Valentini, elegant, smooth. Oh, he looks good. Double fake out. <laughs> he took one out of the contest. Trochevsky, top of the box, onto his right. And it just goes whizzing over the woodwork at the city end. For Sewell. Sewell has turned it over again. Lost his bearings, lost his balance, and Valentini has been fed now by Zinni and Stefan Valentini for the hat-trick. Rebound off the keeper and it's out of play. Right hand side now. He scored two. I reckon he'd love a hat-trick. He crosses very deep. Too long for bowl and he just curled it back inside and uh, Blake Carpenter sent a rifle shot left foot but way, way off target. And it stays 2-1. We've played 69 minutes in this epic struggle at Avenger Park and Avondale right now on the live ladder go five points clear again. An outstanding effort from the Avengers after a rocky start to the season. Liam Boland holds off one, holds off two, rounds out of trouble. Square ball, Trochevsky can't chase it down. Towns with a rifle shot. It was a beauty and the goalkeeper did awfully well. He steadies himself and will go for goal, but it was always too high. The two that he needed to take him to 10 and to put the Avengers three points closer to the Premier's plate. Pachewski gets a rest. He's done well. Well, they've all done well, haven't they? They've lifted significantly since half-time. They should be home and hose now, but it's still 2-1. They weren't as clinical as they could be. That might change, though, with Stefan Zinni feeding Yite Town. Zinni! Straight at the keeper. Well, they were steaming in the second half. Been an incredible guy. Katavian gets the steal. Ahmed loses angle against the goalkeeper. Angles it back and I'll tell you what, how about that? From Youssef Ahmed, the substitute. He checks in. He checks in. For the uh, for uh, <laughs> Valentini, who scored two, and he gets another one in Avenger time with two and a half to play, and it's 3 1. And that, my friend, is just about that. He's exactly what Avondale have been crying out for for a couple of years, I think, and he might be the impetus behind their title push. A little bit longer between the two strikes. <laughs> We've had some magnificent finishes this year, haven't we? It's flicked on by Towns. It's Carpenter trying to put the icing on the cake. Whoa. What a performance. What a turnaround. What a team. They are five points clear at the top of the table after knocking off one of their fiercest rivals. Bentley Greens came to play and they were absolutely irrepressible, keeping the Avondale threat at bay, but the second half by the Avengers was something else again, enough to take your breath away. Valentini's double, and of course, as you mentioned, Ahmed.